I'm fast as fuck, boy. Virtual Box versus VMware. This has been an ongoing argument for some time, and I know plenty of people that would be more than willing to die on this hill. Really? That's the hill you're gonna die on? It's the epic battle of proprietary versus open source. <laughs> like iPhone versus Android, and VirtualBox has always been open source and completely free to use. VMware used to offer a watered down version called Workstation Player, but it kind of sucked, especially for those of us that have multiple monitors. VMware has since made their Workstation Pro free for personal use, so you no longer need to bug this shit out of your buddy or scavenge the internet for that free license key. So if you chose VirtualBox simply because it's free, pick me, pick me, pick me, VMware has leveled the playing field. If you're looking for high performance and stability, then you're gonna wanna go with VMware. But if you're looking for lightweight with great cross-platform support, then VirtualBox is for you. Personally, I prefer VMware because I'm using a desktop and I'm not concerned about limited system resources. No, I do think VirtualBox is a good alternative. My experiences with it haven't been that great. I've seen severe performance issues and it's been hit or miss when trying to spin up some OSs. There are other alternatives to VMware and VirtualBox, especially for Mac OS users, but I'll save that for another video. In summary, if you want the best performance, go with VMware Workstation Pro. I'm fast. It's fuck, boy. But if you need something that's lightweight, then VirtualBox is a solid choice. Very, very solid all the way around. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments.